guys, Charm Branch here and welcome back to my channel and today as you can tell by the title it's like a tiny mini haul but we're focusing on a palette and it's a Barry M palette and as soon as I saw this palette on Instagram I knew I needed to have it, I needed to buy it, I needed to support the charity so I'm just going to get to it. So my Barry M package arrived like this, it had it's like a really packaged bubbly wrap and the palette that I'm going to be talking about has uh, the bubbly, well it had bubble wrap around it as well. Um, I also got a free item and I also picked up a brush just because I saw it and I thought oh I need one of those. So the palette in question, as you probably could see by the title, is the Barry M Wildlife palette. Now there was two, um, I forget what the other one was, it might have been Rhino's, but as soon as I saw that they'd done a pangolin palette, I needed it. I needed it straight away because I absolutely love pangolins. They are so, so freaking cute and they are so, so endangered now. Um, so this collaboration is with the David Shepherd Wildlife Foundation. Um, and I will tell you some information about pangolins because I know they're like really, really hunted um, and endangered, but this gives you, Barry M's website gives you like a proper breakdown to how bad it actually is. So it says, although you may not have heard of them, pangolins are the world's most trafficked mammal, targeted by illegal wildlife trade for their meat and scales. Over 300 pangolins are taken from the wild every day. This makes me so sad to read because they are honestly so adorable looking. Um, it says, by choosing the limited edition Barry M uh, Wildlife Pangolin Eyeshadow Palette, you are supporting pangolin co conservation. Barry M has always been proudly cruelty free but now we're committed to doing more to help nurture and protect animals from around the world. Wildlife has always inspired us and now we're giving back, helping to protect the natural world. Barry M is working with David Shepherd Wildlife Foundation to help fund and raise awareness for their vital conservation work. Learn more at the Barry M forward slash uh, barrym.com forward slash wildlife and with your support this will be one of the many wildlife products. Um, it says thank you and at least 20% of the prof net profits sold for th the sale of these items will be donated to the David Shepherd Wildlife Foundation. So, right, I'm, I'm going to, I mean, on the packaging, the packaging, the, for, the, the person that did the artwork for the packaging, oh my God, I would love to frame this. This is absolutely beautiful. Um, where is it? Um, the artwork is by somebody called Emily Lamb. But look at how, I, I don't know whether, because obviously there's a bit of metallic going on, but I don't know whether my camera will pick it up because obviously I'm a new camera now. It is a better quality camera than I had before, but it does sometimes take a little while to focus. So I have noticed a couple of my videos. I might be blurry now. I don't know until I edit. Um, but that is what a pangolin looks like. Um, I'm going to show you what an, like a proper picture of a pangolin because honestly, they kind of remind me a little bit of an aardvark, I think it is. Is it an aardvark? Um, so let me... It's so, so sad, so sad that these beautiful little things are being hunted. It's so sad. And what do they do to anybody to be hunted? Look, I don't know. My cat, my phone, firstly, is disgusting. So I apologise for the screen. Um, but let me just turn it the right way. I don't know whether my f camera will pick it up, but that is what they look like. They have these beautiful scales all over their body. Um, and like it's like a little a little suit of armor and this is what they're hunted for for their scales and their meat and I think that's so so sad I think it's awful and anybody that does it should be ashamed of themselves so as soon as I saw it I absolutely I'm gonna have to sponsor a pangolin I'm gonna have to because I know that the uh, David Shepherd Wildlife they do do a sponsorship you can sponsor a pangolin obviously you're not gonna sponsor an actual specific pangolin but you can uh, add a little soft toy to it as well that looks adorable it's so so beautiful but anyway so I may have to do that at some point because I really, really want to support these little these little creatures that just get nobody, nobody mentions them. Everybody just seems to not know anything about them. So I absolutely love that Barry M have done this. Like, honestly, oh my God, you guys, you're amazing. You're absolutely amazing because obviously everybody knows about tigers and rhinos and things like that because they're, you know, they're really big creatures. But these little guys, they don't get, they don't get the, the show that everybody else does. So I love that you've done this and it means a lot. It's so amazing. So 
<laughs> I'm going off topic, but I just wanted to talk about pangolins. Um, also, I got a free uh, crushed jewel eyeshadow. I'm not going to open it. It's like um, in the shade Twilight. It sort of looks like a purpley colour. You probably you won't be able to pick it up on camera. It's a very very deep shimmery purple. And I also picked up a concealer brush because I thought this might be really good for when I'm cutting creases and things. Because I don't have a specific cut crease brush. Um, it's like a flat brush but it has a lot of uh, movement to it so it'll be really nice for cutting in nice and sharp lines I really love the edge to that because the one I use right now is not the best so it, that was like £2 it was like in the sale so I picked that up as well um, I will insert it'll either be this side or this side I'm going to go with this side because I can move it where I want to because I'm editing <laughs> but I'll, I'm going to go for this side I'm going to insert a little bit of footage that I took of the swatches of this palette and I'm going to show you inside and I love the names that they use it has a mirror in the top as well which is amazing and this is what it looks like on the inside the, the, the colors are amazing I mean when you look up and see the the swatches at the side of me those shimmer shades are insane um, so from the top row we have hunted lost and poached uh, then we have Nocturnal, Defence and Forest. And then we have Moonbeam, Timid and Ancient. Now I've got them on my arm here but you can't really see them properly because, you know, it's not the best. So that's why I'm going to insert the footage. I'll either insert it before or while I'm talking about the shade names. Um, but it, it, they're amazing. Like, honestly, the pigment is real. So I also created a look, as you can tell by my face, using this palette. I was highly inspired by Norvina, Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina. Um, she posted a look on Instagram using like half pink and half blue eyeshadow and I fell in love with it. And as soon as this palette arrived and I opened it and looked at the shades, I knew, I knew I could recreate that look using this palette. So I totally went ahead and did that. So I have got a tutorial on this look. So if you would like to see how I created this look, then carry on watching. Right guys, so the first shade we're going to go into is the shade Poached and we're going to apply that on the inner corner and build it up in the crease a little bit. Once we're happy with that, we're going to go into the shade Hunted, and these are literally the only two shades we're going to use for this look. And we're just going to pack that onto the outer corner and up into the uh, crease area, and then we're going to blend them up towards the brow. These colours are really, really easy to like build up, so I built them up till I was completely happy, and then I went in with a clean, fluffy brush, blended in the two centre sections so they blended together quite nicely and then blended up towards the brow with the other two colours. I took my time, built up the colour until I was completely happy. You see me swirling my brush in my brush cleaner just so I don't mix the two colours together too much and then just blending. It's just all about blending. Once I was happy with that, I did it on the other eye. Now we're going into a Kat Von D tattoo liner and we're just going to do a normal basic liner. I think this eye look pretty much speaks for itself, I don't think we need a wing. It may have worked better if these were matte but they are so pretty I had to use them. Now we're going into the NARS uh, Climax Mascara and we're going to apply that just to the upper lashes. Obviously once I've curled my lashes. So just applying that just to the upper lashes for now. Now we're going to put on some false lashes and these are Spectrum lashes and they are Mean Girls Gretchen Wiener lashes. Love them. Finished my full face. 
and now we're going back into the palette and into the colour poached again and we're just going to literally copy what's on the top of the eye on the bottom lashes like just below the lower lash line and we're just going to like bring it right down and smoke it all out and smudge it all out so just pack it on and then I will go back later with a fluffy brush and blend it all out now we're going into the colour hunted like I said, we're just going to copy what's on the top of the eye underneath the lower lash line. So pack on the colour and then we'll go in with a, a fluffy brush. Just blend all that together and bring it right down so it's nice and soft and blended. Now we're going in with the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk just to line our waterline. Back in with the NARS Mascara for the lower lashes. And now we're going to the iHeart Revolution Unicorn Heart for our highlights. So we're just going to highlight the cheeks, the nose, and the cupid's bow. For lips, we are going into this Barry M um, Matte Me Up Lip Kit and it is in the colour Blowout. I just thought it went really well with the look. So first we just line our lips, which I should do more of, I don't do it very often. And it, you know, I've got old wrinkly lips so I should really line them so that the, the lipstick doesn't sit in the creases. <laughs> I don't tend to overline my lips, I literally just, just trace my natural lip line. And now I'm going in with the lip colour, which is a beautiful shade and it smells really nice, I have to say. And we can't finish like this, that is much better. And that's the finished look guys it was super easy these colors are beautiful they're easy to build up the shimmers i mean this is like an all shimmer look which i don't usually go for because i'm a bit of a matte girl but oh my god they are beautiful absolutely beautiful now i should really tell you the price of the palette shouldn't i really so the con prices i should have i should have thought about telling the prices it might be helpful um so the price of the wildlife eyeshadow charity palette is six pa oh, seven pound 99 sorry seven pound 99 and the little eyeshadow concealer brush that I picked up was £2 in the sale and then obviously you got this little liquid eyeshadow for free so what a bargain and the fact that 20% of this goes to the charity is amazing and that's the reason I brought it that is the main reason I bought it was because of this this is adorable I love what Barry M do and I'm pretty certain like I said that the other palette was they do four now because they did I think they brought them out might have been last year or a little while back they did um, a tiger one and they did a snow leopard one and now they've done the rhino one and the um, pangolin one the rhino one is really really pretty it's very very neutral shade so if you like a bit of neutral this is going to be for you you should totally go i will link barry m's website down below so you guys can go and check it out but honestly guys you should totally go and support the little pangolins because they need some help there's, it, it's, it's so sad at like 300 a day like they're dropping they're, and it's just getting worse and worse so that is the end of my little mini tiny haul and the tutorial with the palette i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a big thumbs up if you haven't and you're new or you're not new and you haven't subscribe and see what else there is to come but i'm gonna let you go everything for barry M will be linked down below i hope you have a great day night morning evening whatever it is you're doing when you're watching this and i'll see you in the next one bye